the same time as I bought the four quail today, I also got 18 quail eggs, fertile quail eggs, for a hen to sit. Now, I'm not sure about these eggs. We're going to have a go with them because already two were cracked. And normally, the person who raises these quail would put them in an incubator. I'm going to put them under a hen. Uh, they're going to get turned by the hen, maybe eight, even more times per day. So they do risk if they've got thin shells cracking, but we're going to have a go anyway. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we're going to change nests using her golf ball, which we're then going to take out after we've started to put the quail eggs in. So here's a little cappuccino going in. Wanted to get comfy first on a golf ball. Hope she's going to accept this as her nest now. I think if she finds a golf ball, she'll be okay. And she, it's quite difficult for her to hold the eggs in, so that's why I've made this lovely deep nest for her, where all the eggs will naturally go to the bottom. So we're going to go and introduce the eggs now, one by one. Some hens really dislike quail eggs, so we're going to hope she's going to accept them. I think she will. I want to introduce the eggs. Shall I show her the eggs first? Oh, this egg, too nice. You're going to put them on it? Oh, yeah, she likes them. Okay. I'm going to give them a one by one. I'm probably going to extract the golf ball now because I don't want to clink in the eggs against the golf ball. Can I have your little golf ball? I know you love him, sir, but I don't think he's going to hatch. Actually, you won't see that. I've palmed him. Oh, cappuccino. Cappuccino, what about this? It's nice. Do you want to take him? Yeah, you take him too. That way she won't be stand, standing getting on top of the eggs and me putting them in. It also makes it so she's doing it. It's really important, this. Some hens hate these eggs. I don't know why, but she's fine with them. Here you go. There's another one. And we'll go on and we'll do all the rest as the left. Yeah, do you know another one? Is that too many? No, you have another one. There's another one as well. Oh yeah, she's, she's a very voracious egg collector. There you go, there's another one. So now we're going to make sure they're all well in. And I put the I put her in this big box because when they start to hatch, quail get up to baby chicks. There she is, like she's doing a really good job of that. She's getting them all nice underneath her. Um when quail hatch, they are very quickly up to speed, start eating very, very quickly, running about. So I will want to excavate this part, and so it should be able to sit and keep calm with some of them while the other ones will be able to eat in this area. So it'll be a nice little area for them to start out. Because normally, when I raise quail with a hen, I don't let the quail out straight away like I do with the chicks, because they are quite fragile when they're born, particularly when they're these non-organic eggs. I'm not sure about them how strong they're going to be because normally they'd just be living in a pen all their lives and mine are going to have to go out forage for food jump run about and fly so they're going to have to be fit before they start to do that so we'll leave cappuccino to get on with it and i've covered them with hay while she's been out she's a very conscientious sitter she doesn't leave the nest for very long well She's going to go on. I'm not sure about her feet. I'm just going to cover them with eggs while she gets on to me. There you go. Hey, there you are. Here's your little eggies. She's quite light though. She'll be fine. There you go. And I know that all she's done while she was outside, she's just had a dust bath, so she actually hasn't eaten. She had a drink of water, but she didn't have anything to eat. So what I do in that case, is I've prepared some food for her snack, which she'll be able to eat during the morning. And then later on I'll give her um, half an apple, which she can just peck at now and again when she wants to. And then she'll be taken off or she'll jump off probably, uh, just for the afternoon as well. So that's something to really consider when you've got a hen sitting is, watch her when she's out, has she eaten? Because they can easily not eat and then it gets dangerous and you don't want that to happen.